Hello and welcome. My name is Glassfoot and this is a new series that I'm going to start that I don't really know what I'm going to call but it's basically dumb shit that I've seen in D&D or D&D Tales kind of though that is taken by Pro Jared so I have no clue what I'm going to call this because I don't want to seem like I'm ripping someone off um but uh, basically this is going to be Tales of uh, from games that I have played of Dungeons and Dragons, either where I was the Dungeon Master and saw this crap happen, or games that I was like a player and saw something happen, or something directly happened to one of my characters, that um, I was not too happy with the outcome. Uh, now, the reason that I'm doing a D&D series, uh, as many of you know, I am a massive fan of D&D. I have a, a video... I think I called D&D Character Tales the story of Rissok. Something along those lines, Rissok was my first character. He is effectively a half-orc version of Aragon from Lord of the Rings. Yes, I did that because I wanted to. If you haven't noticed, I have a, a D20 tattooed on my right arm. These are all of my D&D books and my comics, but... Look at all of these D&D books. I have quite a few. I have D&D Beyond, where I have pretty much every source book on there. I, I just love Dungeons and Dragons pretty much as a whole. And I kind of just wanted to make a series about that. But, uh, yes. But anyway, so the first story that I'm going to tell you is how my players took over a town and named it Balake. So, uh, the first game that I ever DM'd uh, that wasn't a one-shot kind of... So, the first technical game that I DM'd was Tales from the Awning Portal, uh, The Sunless Citadel. I think I ended up running that for about two to three sessions. I can't specifically remember how long I ran that one, uh, but that was kind of a dip my toes in the water, see if I enjoyed DMing, see if I was at, any good at it which my friends thought I was. So then I ran uh, Curse of Strahd for my group of friends that uh, we were playing at the time. Uh, this included my buddy Zach, my buddy Jacob, and my buddy Justice. Uh, those are the three mains that were, could consistently make it to play. But anyway, we started Strahd, you know, the typical start to Strahd. They got stranded. Uh, they ended up going through a bunch of stuff. Uh, but eventually, they came to the town of Velaki. When they get to the town of Velaki, with a V, they instantly start making the joke and calling it Velaki. You know, in reference to the Key and Peele sketch substitute teacher. Anyway, in this town, they find out that the leadership is corrupt. They find out that people are being very mistreated. There, there is a high risk of death if you go against what the uh, burgomaster or the mayor is saying, and so they resolve to solve the issue by taking over the town and running it themselves. They literally, the first thing they do after deciding this is they go to the burgomaster's place and befriend him because the bard, who is being played by my friend Zach, the bard made a polka suit out of instruments that he stole from another dude and played bohemian polka part of me wishes i was making that up but it's so funny that i couldn't re that like he, he rolled natural 20 and so i it had to succeed i couldn't make it fail and it was really funny <laughs> but anyway uh after uh they figured out their plan a little bit more and they snuck in uh, I can't remember exactly what they did. They either put shards of glass into a piece of meat, or they poisoned a piece of meat, and threw it over so the mastiffs ate it, and then they died. <laughs> Which, <laughs> yep, that, that, <laughs> that happened. That was, oh boy. Whew. That, <laughs> yep. Anyway, they proceeded to sneak into the house where they just 
kept sneaking through. They managed to not get caught by any guard because the damn rogue had like the best stealth you could possibly imagine. I think the low lowest he could have possibly rolled was like a 13. And that was on a natural one. Seriously, like, the rogue was insane. But uh, they crept through the house. Uh, they ended up finding uh, where the burgermeister was, like, where he and his wife slept. And they kind of just, they snuck up. They slit the guy's throat, sneak up on the wife. Managed to wake her up. I can't remember why. And then she screams instantly. <laughs> Guards run, fight ensues, you know, that whole thing. But they, they make their way through, they, they just continue to make their way through the house. They, they find the son in the attic, and they're like, you're working for us now as a maid. And he's like, okay, as long as I get to keep practicing my mage. And they're like, deal. And they find out that he has an incomplete teleportation circle, and they're like, we're using that as an execution circle. He's like, what? And they're like, we're doing it. And they're like, okay. Because, you know, they managed to intimidate him enough. Fucking paladin of grumsh. Anyway. Um, but, you know, they, they find the bodyguard. And the bard murders him as hard as he possibly can. Just all of the murder because... Our bard had managed to seduce and end up in a relationship with the girl that Strahd wanted and he found out that this guy had a bunch of toys. A bunch of dolls of his girlfriend and so he kind of murdered him. Very harshly. He, this is what he did. He hung the guy and then wrote a suicide note saying that he killed the entire Burgermeister family and then himself because the guilt of what he did got to him. Let, let that sink in. He wrote a suicide note for someone he had just killed so that he could convince the town that this guy killed himself. Yeah, that happened. But, <laughs> that's that's the funniest one in my opinion. Like, that, that personally for me, it was the funniest possible shit. <laughs> oh man, it was great. He then managed to convince the entire town that this happened. Got himself elected mayor, which he renamed the a Aaron. Uh, the ex- The, uh... I think assistant became the D-Nice, the executioner became the Jake Quellen. Uh, the count there is a town council now called the town Council of the Oshag Hennessy. Whilst editing this, I realized I forgot to mention they changed the name of the town officially to the town of Balake. All right, back to the video. And after defeating Strahd, they took over his castle and renamed it the Castle Rion Seacrest. I wish I was joking, but no, that happened. My characters are morons. My, my players are just... Anyway, that's all I have now. I hope you guys enjoyed this random assortment of thoughts almost that tried to congeal itself into a story. If this video worked out, you will probably see this. If not, I'm going to end up re-recording this until I like how the story goes. That is what I'm going to do. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video and would like to see more videos from me, you know, hit the subscribe button, leave a like and a comment. That helps me out with the algorithm. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter or Instagram, links to both of those are going to be in the description down below as always. If you'd like to see that other D&D video that I talked about, uh, I'm going to leave a link to it right there or right there. I don't know which one yet. Some other video of mine is probably going to be right there. And, yeah, that's all I have for now, guys. Have a great day, and as always, peace